Hello there guys and gals, the Welsh Hunter here, back with yet another, <coughs> excuse me, 100% achievement and trophy guide. And this time we are getting it all in the weirdly cool Bear With Me Lost Robots. Now this game was developed by Exordium Games, published by Modus Games, and is usually available for just $3.99. Bundled with the DLC comes in at $11.99, but the game on its own right now is on sale for just £1.19, Jesus Christ! And the DLC on its own is only two bucks as well, so <laughs> get them both right now. Or, of course, if not, watch out for any future sales. Smiley face, winky face. So this is a brilliant game. We play as Flint and a detective bear, fantastically named Ted E. Bear. Yeah. As they go through the gritty underground, solving some form of robotic crime. Now, this is actually a prequel, which these events lead up to the first three episodes of Bear With Me. Nice. Now, please note that this is the original 1000 Gamer Score only and trophies, and I will have a separate video for the DLC. So once that's done, I'll go ahead and get a link for you. Now, achievements-wise, it's very easy enough, a few missables, so, you know, keep your eyes out. Plus, there are two in which we can't make a mistake in any puzzle. Well, we can't make any mistake in a certain puzzle. So I'll obviously let you know when that is. Otherwise, it is a fun, easy game, and I really wish I'd played this sooner. So, with all that being said then, let us begin. So you can go ahead, click new game obviously, because that is what happens in most games. You start a new game, you go into the game. That's, yeah. So you just press the A button quite a few times to skip the dialogue. Um, there'll be a few sort of button prompts and everything I'll be letting you know about. Sure. So obviously just keep mashing the A button for now. Obviously moving around with the left stick. And then what the first thing we're going to do is get a missable achievement. So have a look at the film reels on the right hand side and then press the A button. So the A button will be mainly for interacting with everything. So press the A button on the first film reel and then the one at the top of it. Look at this. I think you may need to press the uh, film reels on the bottom as well to get this particular bit of dialogue. So uh, click on the first two film reels and then there will be a third one on the left hand side on the table of us. And then... Well, assuming you've clicked on everything, you should get the achievement Cinematographer or Cinemaniac or something. When we get that, we're going to go straight into the toolbox and pick up a tool. Pick up the white sheet from the right hand side. And then pick up the white sheet from the left hand side. As we can see. So obviously if you click on the floor, obviously Flint, the little boy with a teddy bear partner, will start walking in that general direction. So... You know, you, you got this, you know, you know. So interact with the projector handle, which is on the uh, projector. <laughs> that's funny. And that's obviously going to stop the projector from spinning. We're going to be doing a little manipulation. a little Captain America rug right there. We must be in a super cool superhero room. So uh, if you press the right bumper, you will, or the RB button, that is what you will get your inventory out. And then go ahead, press A on any inventory item that you want, and then just move it over. And we're going to use the wrench with the projector base. Sorry, I was fascinated by the Captain America rug right there. So when he unscrews the screws, we're going to interact with the projector itself. And then it's going to move on its own. Big ghostly term. And just smash through the dialogue, smash through the dialogue, smash through the dialogue. Dialogue. He's got a hell of a voice as Teddy Bear as well. And when we do that, then we can interact with the real handle. And what he's just going to do is leave it on the floor. Press the right bumper slash R1 button if you're playing on PlayStation, of course. Get out the thick film reel and then use it on the projector again. And we're not actually going to be watching a film. We're going to interact with the loose end. Which normally is like a mafia type version of killing you. Use the wrench once more, and you need to obviously go off the screen to use it, and then use it on the projector base. Then we're going to screw the screws back into the screw holes. Just fantastic. And then interact with the projector handle once again, and that is going to whip out the window for us, and we can escape. I mean, it is a wooden door, so you could probably just find something sharp to get through it, but there we go. Back in your inventory, interact the white sheet with the white sheet, and that brings up a backwards S sheet. Get that sheet rope and use it on the window, and voila, we are out of Mia. And that is the end of Bear With Me. Now, if you were, if this was a Jitalon game, you would have only had to have walked over the rug five times and uh, in, walked into the wall five times or something. And that would have been your 2,000 out of 4,000 GS. 
Anyway, sorry, enough of shitlong bashing again there. Just smash through the dialogue here. This bit is all automatic until we get outside. What a start! So, hmm. he left. Is trust. Rot. So welcome to the hustle and bustle. There's no colour, everyone's depressed and miserable. Happy days. So the first thing we're going to do is pick up these screws and bolts directly in front of us. You know, we got a lot of pockets, a lot of pocket space. Pick up the club flyer as well. Just to the right of Ted E. Bear. Or Ted E. Bear. Because this man got deep voice. And then interact with the stanchion as well on the left. Or the, the club thing with the rope on it. Yeah. So interact with the... T uh, no, in fact, we don't need to. What we can do is head down to Paper City. Now, to open up the map, we are going to be using the left bumper. So every time you use the left bumper, we're going to head to the Robot Union now. And then you can press the B button to skip the dialogue. Or the circle if you're on PlayStation, of course. Smash through the dialogue once more. And does she not look dodgy at all? Mate, she has got them thick thighs, thick hips, and weird laser eyes that could kill you in a second. That's what. Saying she's we were and you. You wrote rock. Yeah. He hold. Yeah. He was on. Yeah. Well, ain't you the dodgiest looking robot I've ever seen? So head to the paper daily next. We're going to be coming here just a couple of times to, you know, I mean, it's a it's a paper account. But we are going to be getting some missable achievements right here. Hello, Mr. Dodgerman. You have no eyes. I see. Or I don't see, apparently. So again, slam through all the dialogue. We'll be doing this quite a bit. Um, I mean, the story's brilliant, so it's worth just sticking around. But if not, no worries. So what we're going to do is interact with every news clipping now. So there are five on this wall. Well, six on this wall. So make sure you interact with absolutely every single one, even the very small ones. Just make sure that all the dialogue and everything has changed, just so you know you've got it. And there you go. So we interact with the five on the wall straight in front of us. There is a sixth one, kind of hidden, just on the left of the wall. And then what we can do is just head to the left slightly. There is a gecko for some reason. Is that a gecko? Meh, yeah, anyway. There is a newspaper clip in. One on the right-hand side next to the accounting office there. And then walk to the left slowly. And there are two more just directly in front of us. And that is the one that will get us the news clippers. News clippers everywhere! Achievement. Man, being an accountant must be boring. Any accountants here? So Are you bored? You well, that's Q. Okay. But you're rich as hell, so that's also Q. So we're going into the accountant's office now. We're only doing one thing in here. To the left, interact with the filing cabinets. And we're going to have a little bit of speaking and a little bit of I don't know what's going on. But we pick something up anyway. So head back into the L newsroom. And we're just going to go to the right and interact with not Mr. Gecko Man, who looks completely happy with life. Uh, we're going to interact with this weird, mysterious nymphomane. No, no, wait, that, that's the wrong use. So we're going to press the LB button there to go back into our map. And what we're going to do is head to the Dredge River Bank. Which... Oh, look, it's my ex-girlfriend! Rat! Just joking. <laughs> of course she's not a rat. She's a snake. Uh, anyway, that's for another depressing story. Hey. So, a bit of dialogue right here once again. Yeah. It's you lost. Kid. Yes. Say. Listen. You, Robbie. I think he's. Well. No, dead. Okay. Dead. <laughs> we need to get down there somehow. Oh. Um. Well, hmm. what gave me? Who else? What about you? <laughs> so we're going to press the right bumper button to whip out our inventory and we're going to put the stanchion. So grab the stanchion with the A button, get it off the screen and use it in the hole. Remember, you can, you can go in these holes dry, it's no problem, the holes are big enough. And what we can do is pick up the shovel. <laughs> pick up the shovel. And then we're going to pick up the paint cans as well, which are just behind Ted E. 
Bear. What we're going to do now is uh, interact with the shovel. Get your shovel out of your inventory. Use it on the pile of dirt. And then a little cutscene's going to happen. Oh, well. Not particularly a cutscene, but that is the smallest writing I've ever seen. I can't actually see it. I think that says... Witchy titty time. Or 15 minutes later. Anyway, whatever the hell it says, it's going to automatically happen to you as well. Why not? So, we have managed to pick up the noose. Luckily, we're not going to use it to uh, for any deadly dire effect. We are just going to use it on the buried stanchion. Nicely done. There we go. Fantastic. So, congratulations. I know it's a depressing looking scene, but nobody's hanging themselves today. Yes. So, we're going to head down to the lower part of the dredge. Now, again, a lot more dialogue, or a little bit more dialogue is going to happen. And then our friend Ted E. Bear is going to walk away. Just... Oh. No. Oh. So what we are going to do then is just head back up to the river upper bank. And we're going to give Teddy Bear a slap on the ear for trying to kill us. Or leaving us down there. Now what we are actually going to do is we're going to get the uh, my ex-girlfriend's uh, walking stick. So... To, uh, speak to Taylor Eeks and what he's going to do is give us our walking stick this is for another missable achievement so I'm super glad you're not actually uh, disabled and you didn't need that to walk otherwise you'd be on your ass right now so when you talk to Taylor uh, go back to the lower bank basically there's a, a, a little bit of camembert cheese just stuck in the tree uh, just to the left of the rope there so again uh, be to whip out your inventory get the walking cane with the A button, and then use the walking cane on the Camembert cheese. Yeah. Surely I think Camembert is only good at Christmas. But I suppose if you're a stinking rat, you don't mind it at all whenever. <laughs> but of course nobody's a stinking rat. Everyone's beautiful They're in their, in their own way. Except for rats. So head up to the Dredge River Upper Bank. There we go. So now we can speak to... The, the gorgeous, the beautiful Taylor. Mmm, delicious. But we're actually going to give his walking cane back. This bit is important as well because this is what gives us the achievement. So we robbed it off him and now we can give it back to him. Stick to the cheese, boy. Maybe wash that crusty old cheese end of yours. Nice. Anyway, interact with the plank, which is on the left-hand side, just by the chair. And by his little, uh, delicious little cardboard box home. And we're going to get another achievement right now. So we're going to go back into our inventory. And then we're going to use the paint cans with the plank. And, oh, doesn't that look familiar? And to those that it doesn't look familiar, Ed, Ed, Neddy. Etc. Everyone, everyone who knows Ed, and Ed, 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 Neddy from the UK knows that theme tune. So we've got plank. And what we're going to do, head down and we're going to interact with the bucket. Lord Buckethead, okay. the UK's greatest ever politician. So we've picked up the bucket. Now what we're going to do is pick up Robbie's finger. So that should be just in the middle right here. We need to pick up the uh, robot's various bits of body parts. So now what we can do, interact with the hook, which is just next to the rope. And then what he'll do is use that on Robbie's legs, which is in the mud right there. So interact with the... Uh, in fact, we need to get the bucket in the old tyre rather than interacting with it. So, inventory, bucket, use the bucket on the old tyre. Now, what you're supposed to do is climb up it and then interact with the rope, and that will pull up Robbie's legs so that we can get. But for some reason, I ended up missing that. So, uh, for, for the few, few seconds anyway. So, we're going to grab Robbie's arm there at the left-hand side of the bottom of the screen. And, of course, an arm comes in handy, especially if you're feeling the need to uh, release some energy, if you know what I mean. So what you're supposed to do here then is go in the bucket and then interact with the um, rope basically in front of you. So we put the paint cans on the rope, sorry. I'm getting ahead of myself right there. So put the paint cans on the rope and then interact with the rope. Then what that's supposed to do is pull up Robbie's legs and then we can get them. But for some reason I missed it. I missed that. We'll get them in a second anyway, so don't worry. I haven't missed anything totally mad. I've just been a bit of a douchebag right there. So we're going to be using Johnny's friend, Johnny's plank friend, and we need to use it on the tiny island. So it doesn't work if you use it on the Dredge River, 
but there is a tiny island just underneath uh, Robbie the Robots, which is always a funny name, uh, body right there. So now we can... Don't interact with the Dredge River, just interact with Robbie's head and torso. And again, somehow, even though it's bigger than Flint right here, he's going to shove it somewhere where the sun don't shine and keep it nice and safe for us. So, here we go then. Like I said, this was the part we do get Robbie's legs, like I said, eventually. But it was just me being a complete brain-freezing douchebag. See what I mean? So, like I said, what we need to do is interact with the bucket and tyre or the rope. And we'll just climb up, do it automatically, and then, ah, oh, hello. Now we can interact with Robbie's legs. Robbie the robot. Robot. Robbie. Yeah. Anyway, this bit is all automatic, so again, we're coming up to another nice little dialogue section. What? You see? What do you? Only. What? We. Who? A friend. Pretty. Hopeful. Yeah. So once we are done here then, we can just press uh, the LB button to go into our map and we're going back to the paper daily. Now we're going to be getting another missable achievement, but it's going to take a few minutes. Um, so first thing, oh actually sorry, no we're still getting a missable achievement, but we're going into the accountant's office. And we're going to go into our inventory and whip out Robbie's finger. Um, oh, where are we going to be putting Robbie's finger? <laughs> Ted E. Bear, do you have any suggestions? Let's put it in the sharpener. There's a pencil sharpener on the desk. So put Robbie's finger in there. Yeah, you thought I was going to say something different then, didn't you? Up his pooper or up his nose. No, 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 no. I'm not like that no more. So when the uh, secret thing opens up, grab the mm hat on the right hand side, just beyond the picture. And then you need to use Robbie's finger again. Stick it in the pencil sharpener. And then that will put that back up. Including getting us another achievement as well. And again, wherever you want to stick a finger, you do that in your own time, okay? Sticking it up your nose and your eyeballs and stuff. So we can go out of here then. We've got the Secret Keeper achievement. And now we're going to go to the Fixies Used Car Shop at the bottom left-hand corner. And we're going to have a little bit of dialogue. And she looks happy. Isn't it always nice to go to a mechanics and they look as happy as this? It really gives you confidence. Hmm. So, when Fixie has stopped looking so happy, we're going to interact with the crowbar just in between the two cars, and we're going to be interacting with the cars to get yet a Nazia achievement. So, pick up the crowbar, interact with the 1934 fork on the right, and the 1934 fork on the left. And then what we can do is head left into the junkyard right now. So again, a couple of cars to get the achievement. Okay. You're... Uh Mm -hmm. And the first thing first then, if you interact, there should be two cars right here. The little bastard, which sounds awesome, and the hippie van just on the right hand side. And there will be one more to the left, which will be the Loveberg. The Loveberg, yeah. And that will get us the gearhead achievement. So we can now pick up the broken capacitator in the middle of the screen just underneath the car right there. This is generally a junkyard heaven for those that love it. Pick up a set of cables on the four screen on the set of barrels. Can't go wrong with you. you can't. Especially if you got Robbie's finger involved. <laughs> and now we can um, go to the left. Sorry, I was just checking. We uh, had the set of cables there for some reason. So now we can whip into our inventory. We're going to whip out the Kroben Baron. Crowbar, and then use the crowbar on the empty canister. And then he's going to... Lift it up with his incredible massive biceps, and then we can pick the empty canister up. Looking more like the rock there. Now we can grab the rubber hose on the left hand side. And now we're going to come up to another missable achievement. The cat is playing with some glass eyes, so we're going to interact with the glass eye covers three times. Even though they look like his own cat juicy nut sacks, but they are actually glass eyes. So, interact with the glass eye covers three or four times, and that should get us the I'm more of a dog person achievement. Which aren't we all, because cats are assholes. I'm sorry. Sorry for anyone that enjoys the cats. Re I am really sorry. Uh, interact with the giant magnet. You only need to do it once, and then basically what we have to do is just wait for it to stop. So this is going to take about a minute or so. So you need to interact with the giant magnet once until it starts swinging ever so gently from side to side. 
and then as soon as it stops, interact with the magnet again, and that is what will get us the achievement. But like I said, this does take about a minute or so. Quite a lot of patient-related trophies and achievements in this game. And there it is then, as soon as it stops, uh, press A on it, bam, 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 we are the giant magnet kings. <sighs> and we get a patient one achievement as well. So, everybody are happy, huh? Everybody are happy. So, whip out your empty canister, and we're going to use that on the fuel tank, just where we got the little bastard and the hippie van. Now you need to get out the hose of course, so again R B button and then press A, go off the screen, put and use that with the fuelish tankish. I'm gonna get some chunky lugs out of there. Glub glub glub, right in the butt. Uh, in the fuel canister. Sorry, I was uh, looking at a different thing right there. What the hell? Anyway, going back to the right, the chrome Eldorado, which actually looks pretty banging. We are going to whip the full canister, give it to Fixie, and this kind of, I mean, she must be, this is her drug. This is what robots enjoy. They like, they like a little bit of porter, a little bit of booze. You've got Bender from Futurama who likes booze, and then you've got other robots that just need that, that fuel gas canister taste and smell. Which you can't blame them really, it, uh, if it, hey, if it tastes good, screw it. Oh. Here. You're a dog. I... It is... Well... Okay. Hmm. The... Wow, Fixie has lasers out of her eyeballs. She is my favourite. So, when the blueprints come up, just press A on it to get out of it, and then interact with the oil can on the bench. So, we're going to be taking that. And we're going to be picking up a set of cables on the left-hand side of the car, just underneath the stairs. So whip that in your inventory. Whip that where the sun don't shine too. We got a lot of things where the sun don't shine really. Get out Robbie's head and torso and use it on the robot assembly, basically the robot chair on the right of the workshop or the workstation. This is a cool little garage, mind. Yeah. See, they done it better back way back when. Now, go back into your inventory, and we are going to grab Robbie's arm. It doesn't particularly matter which order we do it in, but we're just going to sort of uh, pimp him out for a minute, or put it back together. So next, we're just going to grab his legs. Because you can't go far without legs. Okay. Well, I suppose you can get a robot wheelchair, I suppose, can't you? And then we're going to uh, get the set of cables on him as well. Ooh. And that'll be good for his eyes. And then we're going to get the M-Hat. Get out the Me-Hat. The M-H-A-T. The Me-Fat. Ah. And for the time being then, that will be that. So we're going to press the left bumper to go back into our maps. And then where we're going to head is back to the paper daily. Now we're going to be doing that couple of minute missable achievement. So what we need to do is click on the OCD's board right next to the happiest looking gecko you've ever seen. Ted's going to mess something up. Now what you're supposed to do is get the broken star capacitor and use it with the um, case in between the two doors of the accounting office right there. Uh, I did actually mess this bit up, but that is fine. Uh, because we can just keep messing up with the board and the gecko won't matter. Because as you can see, if we try to do it now... Um, he's looking this way. So you need to interact with the OCD's board. He's going to start going nuts on it for some particular reason. Get the broken star capacitor out, use it with the emergency one, and then he will swap it while Gecko Head is distracted. Lovely. Now, what we need to be doing until the achievement pops is basically interacting with the OCD's board. <laughs> so just keep interacting with it. Uh, the gecko's going to keep doing the same thing, so just keep interacting. I think it's about three or four times we need to do this. And then the achievement will unlock. But like I said, there are a couple of these types of achievements in the game where we've got to be doing things and waiting for a couple of minutes. But, you know, it's all life and, hey, we are the whores for achievements. They don't call us achievement whores for nothing, you know. Hey, what? have fun.
Hey. What do you have? So this is where it is going to unlock then. So like I said, it did take a little bit of time. But we're going to be poking the chameleon. Well, that's what the achievement's called with Robbie's finger. Robbie's not going to like where we've been putting his finger. Hmm. <laughs> Grody. Anyway, going back to Fixie's used car shop right now. Heading to the left into El Dorado Junkyard. Nice. So we've got a couple of items which we need to uh, progress now. So head to the left. Ever so slowly, apparently. It's not like we got a crime to solve, Mr. Crime Buster. Head to the left, head to the left, head to the left. Okay, get out your inventory, use the oil can, and use it with Furios. And then what he's going to do, he's going to stop playing with his... Uh, they look like balls, I'm sorry. They look like bowels. They don't look like glass eyes, but they are glass eye covers. So as soon as we get the oil can with the cat thing... We can pick up the glass um, eyes and then we can move all the way back to the right. So back at the main part, we're going to go into the repair shop again. And basically what we're just going to do is use those cat balls, cat glass eyes, sorry, <coughs> cat glass eyes of course. <laughs> Uh, we're going to use the, uh, like I said, so, yeah, inventory, glass eyes, use them with Robert. Robert. As a certain Dr. Zoidberg would say. Here's your... Uh, so, they must be his eyeballs, yep. Yeah. Tidy, we're all good. We're going to use the emergency capacitator on the robot assembly as well. Whatever. So, we're starting to get there now. And we're coming up to basically halfway of the game already. So, slap through the dialogue. Ah. <laughs> All right then, so once we're done with the robot right here, we're going to go back into the map and we're going to go to the Jungle Jazz Bar, which is close to Fixie's shop. Um, you can't, I don't think you actually have to speak to Harold and Barry. What we need to do is just give them the flyer that we picked up for outside of the cinema earlier on. Uh, so, um, yeah, this bit of dialogue isn't particularly necessary. We can just go straight into our inventory. Blop. And we can just give him the club flyer. This is what gets the story moving and progressing. That. Oh. What? Uh, okay. Okay. Hey, give up. Uh, I'm not. Fine. Paper. Well, my you. Okay. Right then, we've got what we need from Stinky and Stupid. So again, back into the map, and we're going to the Illuminarium Factory now. We're going to make a couple of visits here, but we are coming up to another achievement now. Some people have missed this for whatever reason, so we're going to overwrite or we're going to save our game right here. Uh, so for some reason, uh, it hasn't unlocked for some people. So we just need to speak to this bulby thing right here, and we need to speak to it, interact with it around three or four times. Uh, for some reason, it hasn't unlocked for some people, so again, if it doesn't, just make sure to save before, and then if it doesn't work, you can just load, load the game back up. And, uh, well, this is what will happen, so you should get the achievement anyway. When we get that, we can interact with the paper trail, and then this <laughs> weird 1920s mafia thing will appear. Uh, Hear that? How could Jack? We hmm. Jan You're ex. Um, of course. Okay. Hmm. Right. That is. Okay. I'm not sure yet. Let's go. So that went as well as about a kick to the nutsack. Or the nut balls. So we're going back into the robot union. Once again, nothing to do here apart from look at the lovely twinkle in evil woman's eyes and smash through the dialogue. You th uh, that we're kind of real. Well, uh, I s okay. Get by get out. Sheesh. Uh. What'll it be, boy? The usual. Uh. No. I oh. <laughs> uh, there's the s some. <laughs> uh. You. I did. Yeah, and since. Where? Yeah. Well, what? What the? I mean, it's kid. But hey. Oh. Okay. And sh but in the it was don't. I. It was. I 
I get so I mean but or where that's right like right I guess it thanks thanks for giving me don't matter. we have a uh, should I just go Not particularly sure why Flint was crying there. We've, uh, you know, we're pretty sweat-free about it. Anyway, again, obviously smash the dialogue once more, once more, once more. And what we can do straight away is whip out these screws and bolts that we got at the very beginning of the game and use it on the dog bowl. Now, we didn't appear to have a lot, but for some reason that keeps these dogs entertained for friggin' ages. So... Video game logic's awesome. So pick up the rubber ball that the dog just dropped, just by the keep out sign, and then go to the guard house. Now, lucky for us, the guard's sleeping, but there is a dog that is just ready to rip our tiny little massive Mr. Mackey head off. So what we're gonna do is get the rubber ball and use that on the dog. Because that is how everything works in real life. So if you ever want to rob a place or anything like that. And they've got a guard dog. Chuck them a rubber ball. But they won't be gone as long as they are in video games. So just, just be aware of that one okay. Oh. Unless he just gets run over. So anyway we've just killed the guard dog. Sorry about that pal. Interact with the car keys. Um, onto the right. And somehow we will just. Just grab it through the wall. Like some awesome tele telepathetic. Telepathic? Some awesome telepathic stuff. Sorry, forgetting my own words there. So, once again, a little bit more dialogue is going to happen. Dead. I wish. Great. Oh. For well. It yeah. And we're going to come back to this ever so shortly. So, back into your map, and we're going back to Fixie's used car shop. And heading into the El Rapero Shopo. Okay. Right, when we are here, what we're going to do then is interact with Fixie herself. We're going to have a little chat again. Man. Hmm. It was a. What? Thanks, Mitch. Sure. And what we're going to do is we, we don't need anything from the inventory. We're actually going to go back into the map and go back to the Illuminati factory. Oh, sorry, the Illuminarium. Sorry, not not Illuminati. Please don't kill me. Right, so once we're here then, we can now get the screwdriver, which we just got off Fixie, and use it with the car. And then this little scene's going to happen, and... Dun, dun, dun. Well... Yeah. What? Do you Whoopsie. Boom, 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 boom. We just crushed the dogs. Unlucky dogs shouldn't have been eating screws and bolts for friggin' ages. So we're gonna head into the Illuminarium factory now. And once again, we're coming up to an achievement. This is the first part where we are going to uh, do a puzzle that we cannot make a mistake on. So interact with the power switch. It's a very easy puzzle anyway. Both of them are, to be honest, as long as you're following along with nay problemos. Um, but it's always important, like I said, as usual, we're going to make a save. So it doesn't matter what you overwrite, whatever. But make sure to make a save and then go to the console. Now, this is a puzzle that we have to do first time. So what we're going to do is press the plus button, the first five plus buttons. So make sure to press the first five. We're going to skip the next two, press the next one. Skip the next two and then press the next one. So this is exactly what it should look like. So you should have five minuses, two pluses, one minus, two plus, and another minus. And then press the start button. So as long as it looks exactly like that, you will do this puzzle first time. And we will get the box. Again, if you do end up messing up, just make sure to reload your save that we just did. So thank you, Ted E. Bear, for all your help and insight. And this is the box that we need. So we just picked up a, another item, but there is going to be another item that we need off the box right here. So again, just slappity slap slap your titty ass right through the dialogue. 
and then just interact with the rubber band that is on the box, or that is in the box. Then we can get the rubber band out of the inventory. So there we go, whip it out, and then use it on the broken railing. Somehow this tiny rubber band is big enough to get this big bushy eyebrowed teddy bear straight through the glass window at the top. And this is what we love about games, right? Just speed. Yes, that did not hurt. Yes, it did not. Uh, you don't need to interact with Bulby there, but we do just need to interact with the document pieces that are on the floor. Interact with the trash can on the right-hand side as well. Did nobody hear that, by the way? There must be nobody there. And then interact with the pieces of a document that is on the desk, if you can see, because you're only a little midget bear, of course. So interact with the tape that is on the floor as well. And now what you can do is go into inventory, use the tape, and use it with the pieces of documents. So, obviously this is just one of those particular ones where we need to put the document pieces in a particular order to get the letter going. Um, now I do take around three minutes or so to do this. So, if you would rather just see the finished product and go from there, which would probably be the best thing to do, and the easiest option to do, just go ahead and nip to... 39 minutes and 25 seconds. That'll probably be your best bet because you can see which pieces go where and it'll be a lot more clearer. Alright, good. Bingo. Stanton. Sure. Lock. No, no. It seems. What? That's. There's. That's really. Yeah. Just lock. It's time to wrap. So this bit's all automatic, but we can press the uh, B button to get through the next cutscene. There it is. So we'll just press the B button here again. Don't need to watch this. Probably worth it. It's. it's Bloody brilliant, it's a fantastic game. 
Um, but just press B anyway if you want to skip it, and then we're going to head to Fixie's used car shop. Now we are coming up to the second puzzle in which you cannot make a mistake. Now, again, very highly important to save beforehand, but what you need to do is basically pick up wires and put them in the correct place the first time. But what you have to do is press and hold the A button until you put it in the correct place. I think if you press the A button and then you take the A button back off and the wire goes on the floor, I think that voids the achievement. So, yeah, I won't be speaking much through it. Again, it'll just be one of those that, because the wires are quite similar and everything, so we need to use the ratchet relay there on the robot assembly. But because the wires are quite similar, it's probably best just to um, watch carefully and what I do. So just keep pausing the video. As you can see, it can look slightly confusing, but follow exactly the same ones that I do, and you should be fine. Just make sure to keep holding the A button until you click it in. But again, remember to save before you get to this point. If you make a mistake or the achievement doesn't unlock, reload your save and do it again. Obvious one. Where does it go, though? It's as red as red goes. This one is blue. Well, it's not yellow, that's for sure. Alright, he's booting up. Now, that was a bit of a pain in the ass to, to figure out, especially when he was talking about the colours at the end there, because... Well, what the hell are the colours, man? Everything's in black and white. Anyway, so hopefully you got that with no issues, you followed it along well, and you got the achievement, and now we can move on. We've got our Robbie Roberto Robert working, and I thought he had a station there going, hiya! Ah, there we go. Okay. Yo, I don't... No. What? I, I don't... Huh. Don't! Right. Will be dead. Yo, so, uh, oh, yeah. uh, so let's go to the map and let's whip ourselves right to the jungle jazz bar and we're going to be doing a couple of missable achievements once again. So what I highly advise again is to whip out your main menu, go into your saves and just ch chuck a cheeky save in. So we're going to go inside to the jungle jazz bar. I'm so glad they said jungle jazz and not jungle... Well, you know the other word I'm going for right there. So we're going to head to the right. Basically, we're going to see uh, Stinky and Stupid, Harold and, and the other guy. Harold and Barry, of course. Stinky, Stupid, it's all the same stuff, isn't it? They are fish, after all. Um, so we're going to talk to Hazza and Bazza, Stinkos and Stupos. And then we are going to start witnessing the birth of some music. 
But what we're going to do is basically as soon as we can move, we are going to interact with the lever just above Hazza and Baza's head. So there we go, as soon as we moved and the cursor appears, we are going to interact with the lever right there to the right of us. Drop that Sorry. down. I'll see you soon, Lily. Gibby! Hopefully you didn't rat land on a spike, because that would have oh, that would have pinched a bit. But as soon as the achievement unlocks, we're gonna load back into our previous save. So obviously remember whichever save it was. And now this is another long-winded one. What I advise you to do is get out your, your phone, get out a stopwatch or a countdown timer or something like that. For some reason I couldn't get one on the, on the screen, it kept messing up the video. So get out something that you can count down to. Basically we need to do the same thing, speak to Hazard and Bazza, but when the music starts we need to wait for roughly around three to four minutes. So I wait for around three minutes and 30 seconds, and then we pull the lever. That is what we do. So again, get out a countdown timer or something like that. And as soon as the music starts right now, press the countdown timer right now. So I've left the whole thing in, by the way. The um, So I haven't cut it down and edited it for time or anything like that. I've let it in completely. So you should be uh, roughly around the same point as I do, providing you have already counted down the time. So we need to wait, like I said, roughly around three, three to four minutes for this one to work. There's literally no talking to him. Hmm. What do you Leave do? it to You're still...
So it's been around three and a half minutes for me right now. Hopefully you are at the same point as well. You know, anywhere between three and four minutes should be fine, but I leave it roughly between half, you know, around three and a half minutes just to be safe. So as soon as we're at this point, we can now pull the lever and that is going to get us the three yeses achievement. Again, hopefully Lily didn't land on a spiky thing because that would have hurt like a little biznitch. Again, if the achievement doesn't unlock you here, sadly you'll just have to reload the previous save and do this one again. So we're going for yet another couple of achievements now. So speaking to Has Baz, stinky and stupid. Um, and then we need to interact with the bar behind them. Which for some reason takes me a little while to figure out. But interact... <laughs> yeah, yeah, we, we already know that. Yeah, stinky butt snatch. So there we go, interact with the bar. I finally figure it out. Um, and then what we need to do, so the first thing we need to do then is we need to make our own particular drink. We need to make these six drinks for Stinky and Stupid. But what we need to do is get one shot of distilled plush, one of defuck, one carrot juice, one sparkling orange, and then, well, we need to put the martini glass in there first before you can shake it, of course. So choose the martini glass, then choose the shaker. And that is going to get us the TED TM achievement. Hey, would you look at that? It's so this bit again is easy enough. All you have to do is literally just follow the instructions that are on there. But very importantly, you see the south side fizz on the bottom left hand corner? Leave that one till the very last. So if you want to follow along, I go from left to right. So we go with the top left one, then the top right, middle left, middle right, and then the bottom right, the plush gush. And we leave the south side fizz until very, very last. Otherwise, you just need to get the uh, same particular uh, um, cup, whichever they need, or particular glass, whichever they need. And then just follow the instructions in order. Again, it doesn't matter if you make a mistake. Um, I think the achievement is basically for just making six cocktails. Um, yeah, so do not worry about that. Just follow every drink in order, leaving the south side fizz until very last, and that is what will get us the cocktail maker achievement. Again, th this takes roughly around five minutes to do. God, you're an ugly fish. God damn. Still harder than me, though. Well, this looks great. Have a s- nah. Really? This turned out real. Looks interesting. Ah. There we go. It's okay. How about this? That's not it.
G. Yeah. There we go. Oh, it's... It. Mom. Top job there, broski. You have done it. The Cocktail Master. I'm really glad they put tail in there as well, because that would have been embarrassing. Uh, interact with the broken spotlight in the left-hand side of the stage <laughs> before we can go back and speak to Baz, Haz, and Stingy and Stupid. So, just, be, uh, just by the microphone there, grab the broken spotlight. So, we need to... Uh, interact with the Howler Barry, but we need to choose the wrong options before we choose the right ones. So, just follow exactly the same options that I do. So again, slam through the dialogue once again. We're about ten, less than 10 minutes now away from the end of the game. Uh, but choose the Cuda. Yeah, Barracuda. That is a good one, Ted, actually. Eat, Bear. Choose Dick, the birthday boy. Which, uh, n n no, th no thank you, I, I, I'll just give him some money instead. Then choose Susan. Then choose Zero Cool. And then choose The Fresh. So we've basically given him a wrong answer. I give him the wrong answer on everyone. That was just to be safe. Uh, you know, got to be safe and sound. Otherwise, that's a pain in the butt snatch to go through again. Now we're going to choose his eulogy. No, Ted. Then an angry letter to your mom. Your mommy. And then in a chewing gum commercial. And then choose his tombstone. Of course, we're going for the wrong answers before we choose the right answers. That is what's going to get us the action and evement. Now, choose the head. Next, we're going to choose hands. And, well, the achievement unlocks as well. But we're going to go for feet anyway. Feet! Stinky ass, goddamn stinky, butt snatching feet! And then that was apparently the right answer there. So, personally, I didn't have a clue what was going on because I was smashing through the dialogue at this point, so I'd already forgotten. But we get back to the jungle jazz bar. We're going to use the quarter and we're going to use that on the telephone booth. I remember a simple time, it was a telephone booth. You know, when you had to ring the, uh, if you wanted to get your socks off and your jollies off, you had to ring certain people from a phone booth rather than just whip it out on your phone these days. But, uh, people don't know what they're missing. So, back into map. What we're going to do is interact with the lighthouse on the very right hand side of the map. And this will get us the overzealous. I'm overzealous. So, we're going to smash out the dialogue once again. And then, as soon as we can, we're going to go into the ground floor of the lighthouse. We're almost at the end of the game now. A couple of minutes left. And then we're going to um, get the first aid on the left-hand side. So, interact with the first aid. You never know. And then we're going to use the crowbar. And then we're going to use it on the Illuminati. Illuminarium crate. Of course, if it was Illuminati, it would be like a triangle with lasers spitting at you and killing you and everything. So we've got the item from out of that Illyrium crate. Now we're going to go back to Fixie's used care shop and head your ass back inside the repair shop. I just realized we're a little young to be a detective, don't you think? It's very stressful. You're already going grey. I'm going bald and grey without being a detective, so eh, makes some difference. So slapping out the dialogue once again right here. Oh, don't work. Oh. Uh, that, that. Uh -huh. All right. Okay. And we're going to finish doing Robert up. So the first thing we're going to do is pop in the um, broken spotlight. We're going to stick that on Ro Robbie Robert's head. Nice. So we need to secure it somehow, which of course is what the bandages are for. So get your bandages out of your inventory and then use it with Robbie Robert certain. And since we're missing the light bulb, well, we just picked one straight out of our butt right there. Here we go. Use the light bulb on Robbie Robert. And we're all good to go. 
If um see. All right, accountant. I really right. Uh, exactly. Yeah. I. I mean. Yeah. He's okay. Okay. I. Uh. Shite. Good evening, ma'am. No, I'm not. <laughs> What's this? I'm hit. I should. Good job. Oh, uh, wait. Well, that's. Uh, uh. And that's basically it then, guys and gals. So I knew she was. She, you, you can't have, you can't have thighs like that, robot thighs like that, and have laser eyes and stuff without being evil. That's just just an automatic assumption, I assume. But this is basically the end of the game now, guys and gals. So I'm gonna take my leave here. Like I said, this is just for the original 1,000 out of 1,000 and trophy platinum, uh, platinum trophy even. Close enough. I will be doing a separate video for the DLC, so keep an eye out for that in just a wee tinkly while. Um, but thank you so, so much for watching, guys and gals. Hope you enjoyed the game and the guide as well, and we had a laugh as we always do. Uh, don't forget, if it did help, of course, to like, comment, subscribe, and share with a friend as well. Oh, look at this guy, coffee and tired. Bruh. Bruh, you don't know what real hard work is. Standing on a factory board all day. Hmm. Yeah, maybe, you know, maybe I'm the loser then. Uh, anyway, again, thank you. Um, if you care to mind, don't forget to check me out on my socials as well. Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, and Patreon as well. Uh, by the way, speaking of which, thank you so, so much to everyone who continues to support the show and channel on Patreon. I really highly appreciate it. And even for those who just come along for the ride anyway, I really do appreciate it. So again, thank you so, so much for watching, guys and gals. I'll see you in the next one. See you for the DLC as well. Ba 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 big love.